tater tot, let's give him sugar tot. He's sugar tot. So we're the tots, sugar and tater. The pair started dating in 2020 after being friends for almost 30 years. Reba Macintyre is dishing the details of how her relationship with boyfriend Rex Lynn turned from friendship to a whirlwind romance. While appearing on the Drew Barrymore show during the Friday, March 1 episode, Macintyre recalled being like a magnet to Lynn when they connected on the set of Young Sheldon, despite having already been friends for almost 30 years. The fancy songstress first met Lynn in 1991 while filming The Gambler Returns. The luck of the draw, although they were both in relationships with other people at the it wasn't until 2020 when they began looking at each other in a different light. We were all going to go out and have dinner. Melissa Peterman says that that was our first date because I mean, I was like a magnet to Rex, Miss Entire, 68 told host Drew Barrymore. I just couldn't get close enough to him. I don't know why. We had talked and communicated throughout the years, had a mutual friend, Ed Gaylord, and we stayed in contact. But for some reason, that night was just so special," she continued. The voice judge said she has since asked Lynn, 67, why they didn't get together earlier, and he thinks it is because Miss Entire would have killed him during their younger years. He's a wild man. He's a 12-year-old, the country legend joked. But clearly, things were meant to be for Miss Entire and Lynn, who ended up connecting over tater tots of all things while on their first date. After having dinner, the pair went to a wine bar, where the server offered them some appetizers since they had already eaten a full dinner, and, much to the Big Sky actress' delight, tater tots were on the menu. Once Miss Entire enthusiastically ordered her tots and proclaimed her love for the fried potato snack, Lynn told her, You know I'm famous for giving people their nicknames, and that's your nickname, Tater Tot. Miss Entire later came up with the name Sugar Tot to nickname Lynn in return. We're the tots, Sugar and Tater. So, we've been together ever since. He's a sweetheart, the smitten musician added. And the rest is history. Reva Missentire offers rare glimpse into previous marriage before divorce. It was business. Reva Missentire couldn't get close enough to boyfriend Rex Lynn after reconnecting. I was like a magnet. Can't even get the blues singer Reba Missentire reconnected with her boyfriend in 2020 on the set of Young Sheldon. Reba Missentire got real about her first impression of her boyfriend. During an appearance on The Drew Barrymore Show, Missentire shared what it was like reconnecting with her now boyfriend, Rex Lynn, on the set of Young Sheldon right before the COVID-19 lockdown. We were all going to go out and have dinner. Melissa Peterman says that that was our first date because I mean, I was like a magnet to Rex. I just couldn't get close enough to him, she told Barrymore. I don't know why. We had talked and communicated throughout the years, had a mutual friend, Ed Gaylord, and we stayed in contact. But for some reason, that night was just so special. She has since asked Lynn why they didn't take their relationship to the next level earlier, telling Barrymore that he had responded by saying, probably because you would have killed me. Mason Tyre didn't disagree with his assumption, saying, he's a wild man. He's a 12-year-old. Ribe and Cien Tyre share is the terrifying activity, she and her boyfriend enjoy together. Scares him to death. Both the singer and Lynn have been in serious relationships in the past, with Miss Entire having been married twice and Lynn having been engaged four times. After dinner, Miss Entire and Lynn went to a wine bar, where she excitedly revealed her love of tater tots. Upon hearing that, Miss Entire recalled Lynn telling her, I'm famous for giving people their nicknames, and that's your nickname. Later on during the pandemic, I was in Oklahoma with my sister Susie, and she said, You know he gave you tater tot, let's give him sugar tot, she said. So were the tots, sugar and tater. How about that? Is that not cute? The two also bonded over their mutual love of the Western lifestyle, explaining they both wanted careers in the rodeo. But since they didn't have a lot of talent for it, she went into music, and he became an actor. Like what yo yori already a d i n d. Kilek here for Memory Entertainment and Eves. Messentire and Lynn first met in 1991 when they both starred in the movie The Gambler Returns, The Luck of the Draw with Kenny Rogers. They were both in relationships at the time but were both available when they reconnected on the set of Young Sheldon. Every scene was fun for me because I was working with her, Lynn told Country now in January 2023. Adding the two of them would wink at each other in the middle of a scene. 
Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel JaxyN24. Thank you for watching.